What's good YouTube, it's your boy Fezzer here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're back with another Modern Warfare 3 guide for you guys and in today's guide we're going to be covering how you guys can rank up your guns really fast inside multiplayer and inside zombies as well. So I'm going to be doing two different methods, one for multiplayer and one for zombies as I know a lot of you out there only play zombies and I know a lot of you out there only play multiplayer. So for the multiplayer what you guys are going to want to do is run decoy grenades. You're also going to want to run the demolition vest so that you get two decoy grenades you're also going to want to have a munitions box as well the munitions box is going to be pretty useful when you run out of decoy grenades you lot can quickly resupply just like that for your perks it doesn't really matter what perks you lot run and for your weapons it also doesn't matter just run whatever you guys feel comfortable with now for your kill streaks i would advise using uav counter uav and then a sentry turret uav and counter uav will constantly give you xp from teammates that get kills whilst it's active and then the sentry turret is just super op if you put that down that turret you don't have to monitor it or anything it just does its thing and it will rack up a lot of points and a lot of kills for you so now when you guys hop in game you pretty much just want to combine everything we put in our class and then use that effectively so every life that you spawn you want to throw your two decoy grenades you guys want to make sure that you're doing this on rust or shipment as they are small maps and you guys can take advantage of the current playlist that's there just throw those de decoy grenades they're going to be getting assists when you get uavs counter uavs call those in they're going to be getting assists throw your sentry guns down when when you get that those are going to be getting kills and every life that you throw two decoy grenades those are just constantly going to get xp whilst you guys kill so it's really simple really easy to do and it's probably one of the best methods for ranking up your weapons and doing your cannon challenges right now so now moving over to zombies if you guys only want to use zombies to rank up your weapons or maybe you're doing camos on zombies you guys can hop over to an outlast contract this also works on a spores contract as well but in my opinion it works best on the outlast contract go ahead and buy yourself a sentry gun and a monkey bomb and then go ahead and do the sentry gun monkey bomb glitch as you guys just saw if you guys don't know how to do it just follow what i did in this video but i'll give you a quick uh, voiceover tutorial so essentially you want to put the sentry gun down hop on top throw your monkey bomb on top of the sentry gun count to six and then pick up the sentry gun that will make the, the monkey bomb drop on the floor and the monkey bomb will be glitched out once you've glitched out the sentry gun and the monkey bomb you guys just want to start the outlast contract and then get on with it pretty much just stay inside up until 90% and then when it hits 90% you guys just want to leave the area and that will actually make the progress go down and then once the progress has gone down to about 30% go back inside and keep on rinsing and repeating you guys won't complete the contract until you actually want to and then if you guys want to complete the contract or you guys get to a point where your gun's not leveling up no more because as a lot of you will know on zombies there is a little bit of a level cap we don't know exactly what it is the level cap but we do know that there is some form of level cap so if you guys do feel like you've reached your level cap for that game then i will be going into another method that you guys can continue from here and then get more xp and get past that level cap okay so now that you've actually completed the contract or you've reached your level cap for the game and you guys are ready to exfil and then load into another game instead of exfilling and loading into another game which will take a little bit longer i want you guys to come to the exfil mission now you guys will only have this mission if you've completed act one but if you have completed act one it makes this run so much easier and so much more efficient so when you guys spawn in you're going to want to look for those ammo mod circuits that you guys can see me picking up they're going to be in the same location every single time so you lot can just go to the exact same locations that i went to or if you guys know that you're planning to do this beforehand then you can actually look for them during your original game uh, when you was doing the outlast or the spores contract so essentially what you want to do is when you spawn in you're going to want to pick up that first ammo mod and then you're going to want to head straight to the extraction helicopter pad and then when you get there you're going to want to throw down a monkey bomb so you can do the monkey bomb glitch and now this is just going to make it a lot easier later on when we come back when it's actually the end of the mission um, so just do that from now once that's put down you guys can put your sentry anywhere you want to and then you guys can go back and actually complete the mission and as i said when you're running through the mission just pick up those ammo turret mods because that is going to be very useful when we get to the end of the mission so the reason why we're actually doing this mission instead of going ahead and exfilling is because every time you guys come into this mission it pretty much tricks the game into thinking that this is a whole new game which technically it is because as you guys can see from the top left we get a whole new 44 minute timer so technically it is kind of like another game it's just a lot easier to get into and with the method it makes it really easy to rank up your weapons and do challenges and stuff like that so with the game considering this a whole new game 
it essentially means that our level cap resets, which now means that we can start ranking up our gun again, especially if we hit our level cap in the main zombies map, which is absolutely amazing. So essentially what you guys want to do is just play through the story until you get to the last bit where you have to exfil on the helipad. And then when you guys are there, you lot have already put your monkey bomb down, so it's going to attract all the zombies. Now you're going to want to go ahead and put all those ammo mod turrets inside the turret. And then let the turret just do its thing. You guys can stand there and as you lot can see, it will just rack up so many zombie kills. This extraction actually brings in quite a lot of zombies. Kind of like how much zombies were in the old extractions. You guys are going to be accumulating some serious XP and you're going to be ranking up those guns in no time. And if you guys have uh, double XP tokens, definitely pop that whilst you're doing this. And depending on how many ammo mods you have, depends on how long you guys will have up here. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below if this was helpful. Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, that's it for me. It's been your boy Furs. I'm out. Peace.